this team, uh, this team is one of the best units I've ever had to coach because they all trust each other and play so hard together. You're winning a title, you're feeling great no matter which way you're rolling here. Um, I, I'll, I'll say this, um, with a dynamic player like Mikey Bassetto last year, excellent player, he, but our team still played like a team. We still passed the ball well, this and that. That has trickled down onto this team. I just transferred in this year, okay. but uh, it still feels sweet. Obviously, you know, I know Mikey Bassetto is uh, probably one of the greatest guys to ever come to Waterford High School. And everybody said, you know, what are we going to be without him? What are we going to be losing all those seniors last year? And I think we really defied all the odds and, you know, come back, moving up the division and winning. It feels great. summer all fall he played with them and these guys just trusted him and and that's how we got into the fold they played and, and they believe him of course you know that everyone makes good decisions bad decisions Kenny made great decisions coming down the stretch everyone knows it my whole team knows it they knew he was gonna do his thing and so that's what that's what uh, made us successful so I, I knew what they needed to they you know they didn't really have a pure point guard they got a bunch of guys that can score so it was my job to kind of get them the ball and settle things when, when uh, quite the storm you know what I mean but you were feeling it tonight I'd say I had a lot of confidence. They had great guard play, guard play tonight. Right. And, uh, you know, defense is what got us here. Right. And I think our defense is what ultimately put us in the position to lose the game because it was not our best effort. There's too many layups. I mean, if you look at all the stats, we had, um, they had more second chance points. We had more points off turnovers. Our bench was outstanding. And ultimately, just came down to the layups. The layups killed us.
check, check the tape from last year. Liam Spellman hit a shot from right in front of our bench last year that really, I, I wouldn't say sealed the momentum, but really pushed that momentum that way. It was the exact same place on the opposite side of the court. And he nailed it, and I said that was that was the really the, the push that we needed to take it over the edge. Oh, when I had the three, I think we were up seven at that point, and I put it to ten. This place went crazy, called timeout. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was tremendous. I love the feeling. That was probably the biggest. He's hit some big shots this year. I know we played uh, number six Trumbull when we were number seven. He pretty much hit the game winner. That kid has some ice in his veins, and he has since middle school, honestly. That was icing on the cake. Yeah. We're not a group of individuals, we're one unit, and we came together, and we got the win. I mean, they, they, they put the buzz back for basketball in the city. I mean, it was down for a couple years, but, you know, they bought in. The kids put a lot of time and effort in. Uh, you know, they, they did, you know, primarily everything we, we asked them to do, whether it was lift, run, shoot. So, I mean, obviously we didn't win, but just getting here was, was a accomplishment in itself. That's the best feeling ever. Three years of varsity basketball. Finally got a state championship in my senior year. So I can't imagine anything sweeter right now. It's one of my greatest moments of my life right now. I'm so happy. Just filled with joy. Hey if it's division one next year, we'll, we'll come out and play. Give me a court and a round ball and we'll play. You don't care. Uh, I mean, you know, I, mean. I, I try to worry about things I can control. And that, that's something I can't do. And do it now. Give me a set of rules.